Hi, Kathy. Hello, James. How are you? Not too bad. Yourself? I'm good. Greetings from sunny Ireland today. Ah, yeah, it might, makes a change. As I say, it's, it's not been the best weather typically for the, the, the British summertime, so good, good to see mm-hmm. some sunshine. Okay. Um, we, norm, we normally start these, these off um, with a quick introduction to yourself and, and the brand and who you represent, if you, if you don't mind. Great, Boo, and thanks so much for having me on today. So my name is Cathy Joyce. I am part of the Media Hotels International Global Sales Team for UK and Ireland um, for both MICE and BT. Uh, predominantly myself, I specialise more on the my side of the business. Um, Melia is a Spanish company that operates over 380 hotels in 40 destinations across four continents. And we have, I'd say, another 120 hotels in the pipeline due to open up by 2022, 2023. Uh, and it operates then under um, different brands. So we have the Paradisus which is based in the Caribbean, which is a five-star luxury resort. We have Grand Melia Hotels. Uh, they're also five-star luxury. We have the Me five-star, more on the lifestyle five-star, very high-end hotels. Then Melia Hotels and Resorts. We have the Inside, which is our fastest growing brand, the Inside by Amelia, which is a four-star version. Then the Lifestyle, um, Trip and Sal. So we've quite a variety of brands in multiple destinations uh, across the world. Particularly like the Grand Media in Tenerife. I stayed there in December. It was a really, really lovely hotel. You really liked it. Yeah, yeah. Grand Media Palazzo de Azor. It's beautiful. <laughs> and that's a key mice, mice conference hotel for me as well. So I actually had booked uh, for September to go for four nights. So I'm, I'm hoping to see it then when I go, which would be great. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I guess... The, uh, the obvious question to start is sort of what, what's been the impact um, with, with COVID sort of since, since the lockdown and now coming out of lockdown. I've noticed that obviously a number of hotels, particularly within your brand, are, are opening up again, which is fantastic news. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I suppose if we were to go back in March, it felt like everything kind of happened quite quickly. Um, how you'd say Amelia responded very quickly to ensure that there was policies in place for events um, so they were quite flexible in terms of moving events in Q2, Q3. We really tried to focus on that the events wouldn't cancel, but that they would postpone. So a lot of work was done kind of March, April, May to keep those events for, for the remainder of the year. And, and then, of course, some moved into next year. Um, so a lot of the hotels had closed down in different areas, especially in Spain. But we've seen, I think we have now over 180 hotels that have reopened back up. So, you know, each week we have new openings. Some have decided to stay closed a little later, and that's mainly due to refurbishment. Um, so the Media White House in London has, has for the last year, been going through a multi-million pound refurbishment. So we did all the public areas, and now we're starting off with all the rooms. Um, so those hotels are getting some benefit by, by being staying closed to, to refurbish. And what, what sort of what sort of changes sort of have had the, the sort of brand or the hotels themselves have to make? I mean, you, you, you mentioned you mentioned in terms of some are doing refurbishments where they where they plan refurbishments and obviously you've got a number of new hotels that will be opened up over the coming years, which is fantastic. Has there been any setbacks in that? Because what we found, particularly with hotels and, and hotel represent representative companies, yeah. is obviously what people don't realise is the amount of investment that's had to go in to the hotels um and, and bearing in mind there's been no revenue really coming in so it's, it's significant sort of the changes that, that they need to be made yeah i think that's really important to highlight as an industry as a whole that we have you know heavily invested in safety and precautions to ensure the utmost safety of guests so you know for Amelia, they launched a program stay safe with Amelia. Um, which was with Bureau Virtus Group, which is a world leader in testing and certification. So, you know, they, they invested heavily on that to ensure that guests travelling back would feel safe in our hotels. And we've done, a, you know, a presentation on that of what's been implemented, all the different measures in the hotel from screens and non-touch handles. And so that's one side of it, definitely, that they've been doing. And as you say, where hotels have been closed for a period of months with a loss of revenue, but it had to be done. Um, then with some of the hotels, I think they took the opportunity, the ones that they were looking to refurbish, 
to keep it closed for a little longer to really get that done in a shorter time period versus been refurbishing over the next year, year and a half while you've guests in house. You might as well take the opportunity to stay closed and get it done in a shorter term period. Um, and then also with some of the new openings, you look at it and think, is the point in doing the a launch of a new hotel to open now? Or do you wait an extra two, two three months and then do a proper launch opening? So I, like I'd say, every industry, some things have been delayed. But in, in general, it's that we have been getting up and going with our hotels. And what, what sort of events can we look um, look to be start putting towards or, or planning for? Um, are, are there particular types that we need or is it open to most events now or, or, or moving forward? What sort of group sizes would we, would we be aiming for? Well, I suppose from a global level, we go with government regulations in each destination. So each week we're getting updates from the government bodies of what is allowed to do with events. If you look at the UK, it was only last week announced that events will take place from conference and exhibitions from the 1st of October. Do we know how many delegates? Does that mean is that 2,000, 5,000, 10,000? I think that has to be kind of outlined. So it's, you know, we're waiting, we're hoping that 1st of October is a go date. I was on a, a call two weeks ago with Madrid Convention Bureau and they're hoping to start meetings from September. You know, they've different events taking place. So each destination has different rules and regulations. And then, of course, it comes into this quarantine um, where different countries are on green lists. So the yeah. UK might be on one green list for one country, but not for another. Honestly, for meetings and events, I think it'll start off slowly where it'll be smaller meetings and events, probably under the 150, 200. Then it'll get into the conference and, exhibit, uh, conference and exhibitions and it'll just be changing the setup and style of meeting, meeting rooms. Um, but then again, it, it, all, it all relies on what information is from the government regulations of what we can and can't do. I think, I think that's one of the real key um bits of information that's really coming out these sessions that we're having with, with, with venues and suppliers and, and talking to people like yourself is the fact that we really do need to speak to our suppliers and our contacts within the industry um, we really need to as planners be aware of all all the changes that could possibly happen and also as you said there's different rules and regulations for different countries and different e even different regions within different countries so yeah. it may be it may be moving forward from a planning perspective it takes a little bit longer in terms of the chain but I think it's, it's more important than ever that, that we reach out and we have these discussions with, with the likes of ourselves, uh, likes of yourselves, um, clients with, with planners um, to make sure that we get all the information possible. Yeah, and I think a lot you'd see in the definitely in the UK industry since COVID that everyone has really come and worked together with different online se uh, sessions from the airlines, the agencies, the DNCs, the ground handling, the reps, the hotels. And we've all kind of shared information because I suppose we're all in the same situation. So we have to work together um, as best we can. And how are we the focus, I suppose, from my side and in the my side is really to promote all our hotels over the next couple of months, really spend the time that when you are so busy back to back with events out and about, really to just change our wholesale strategy as well for next year of what we're going to do. Um, and that's kind of allowed us to step back, reevaluate and have that time and to focus on different campaigns, you know, that what's going out to the market, as I said, the stay safe with Melia, but we've also created another campaign, which is when you come back, meet with Melia. Um, and that campaign for the mice market is very good because, you know, it gives them the reassurance with stay safe. And then we've also included earn double media rewards points. And then most importantly, the flexibility of terms and conditions for contracts. And that is really what I think agencies are looking for, that if there was, which we don't like to say, um, a second wave or if there was a mini lockdown somewhere, that they felt that, their partners were flexible with them and Amelia definitely has been very flexible um, with buyers to try and accommodate to, to try and accommodate everyone so that's kind of what we're focusing on and as the hotels ease open back up as well to, to promote that they have reopened and they're safe. Okay and is there is there anything that we need to know as planners or delegates coming out to to any of the media brands or anything you'd like to put across um, that, 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 that we should be aware of? 
I mean, I suppose just with what's going on in, in different regions, we do have a lot of hotels that are opening up. Um, the big focus in the UK, so I'm based in Melia Whitehouse in, in London, and we also have the Me brand in London and Melia Kensington. That's our kind of our, our UK portfolio in London. And we have the Inside in Manchester. So it's quite an exciting year for us because we have the new Inside Liverpool and Inside Newcastle opening up. So as I said before, that the Inside brand is fast growing across Europe. We have different ones. We have the Inside Amsterdam and Luxembourg and some new properties. We'll have the Me Barcelona, which I'm hoping I'll get to see with IBTM uh, is going ahead this year, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, we have the Me in Doha for out in the Middle East, the Me Dubai. I was only in Dubai in, in February, which I got to visit, which is a stunning building by the late uh, Zaha Hadid, a famous architect. So that will be reopening back in September, and that's great for incentive groups. So I suppose it's just more to, to keep the market up to date on the different campaigns that we're doing, different hotels that are opening um, going forward, and that we have as a company invested in technology. This week, or last week, we started our first Media Pro Travel Labs community. So it's a new community on LinkedIn and Facebook uh, for travel and event professionals. And uh, we go live in different destinations. So last week we were in Italy. This week on Thursday, I think we will be going to live from the Balearic Islands, you know, the Spanish Islands. So the GMs and the director of sales and marketing in each of those hotels do a virtual site visit. So it has a lovely personal touch um, with everyone that can just join in online and ask any questions. So we'll be doing a lot of those events as well to promote the, uh, the brand globally. So definitely for anyone in the industry, I would be focusing on ensuring that they join Melia Rewards and Melia Pro. And then we have our accounts in the UK that we manage as well, that they can contact us direct. I think I, I think personally from 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 what we, we've had with, with Melia, it's, it's great. The fact that different kinds of brands within the brand um, that opens itself out to so many different types of events or mice or conferences. Um, and, and it's also positive that you're still moving forward of that. So still looking to launch different versions right. that suit, suit different things. So it's, it's a real positive message and, and, and really proactive um, on, on your part, basically. Well, this is it. I mean, it never gets boring. As I said before, I've worked in different mice venues that are a niche product, whether it be a very big convention center or a very high end incentive style um, a hotel, it's great with the brand, with Melia, is that really you can cater. So any clients that I meet, I have something for someone, you know, so that is the variety within the brand is fantastic. And that it's, it is constantly evolving all the time. So we have new content every week. It's trying to, to how to, to manage that and market it out uh, to the market that's not to oversaturate it, but from a global sales perspective, it's nonstop, definitely. So for me, it's, it's interesting uh, to be part of the company and see it evolve. I mean, Asia is another one that I really would hope to visit. I mean, over 50 hotels in Asia. So Amelia, you know, the, the, band, the brand's footprint has significantly grown in Asia, uh, which is lovely to see. So I will hope to get a visit out there at some stage as well next year. When we get back traveling, I'm excited yes. to get back. Which will be yeah. great for all of us. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, so lots of exciting plans and, um, you know, hope that we can um, showcase more of our product as, as the weeks go on as well. It'd be great. Sure. OK, well, thank you very much for joining me today. It was really, really good discussion with you. And like I say, real positive message again that we're putting out and, and great mm -hmm. to see how, how the media brand are really pushing themselves out there and, and some of the new developments that are going on. Great. Listen, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. No problem. Speak to you soon, sunshine. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. We welcome any feedback and questions in the comment section below. And please make sure you follow me on all our social networks.